give my life to you, Lord. Come into my heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So, um, welcome to St. Parishion of St. Mary's, those who are visiting and also those who are watching uh, online um, this Mass through St. Mary's Ottawa YouTube channel and also Shalom World TV at 11 o'clock today. Today we celebrate um, the memorial of St. Margaret Mary, Mary Alacoque. And uh, she's one of my favorite saints, and I'm just so happy to celebrate this memorial uh, on my special day today. And uh, uh, because we only celebrate St. Margaret Mary Alacoque's memorial uh, here in Canada on October 20, uh, in the in the uh, in the Worldwide Church, it's really on October 16. So I'm so happy to be able to celebrate it today. Uh, so I'll be speaking to you about her uh, in my homily today. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge my sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endow St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, as Gentiles by birth, remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For Christ is our peace. In his flesh, he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So Christ came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The refrain to the psalm. The Lord speaks, 
of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground. And righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace. Please stand. Alleluia. Be watchful, pray constantly, that you may be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. She said to the disciples, Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him. As soon as he comes and knocks, blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as I've said, today is the memorial of St. Margaret Alla Coke. So uh, something about her, she was born in France in 1647 okay and during that time um, the, the the heresy called Jansenism was very prevalent okay and uh, it was started by a Dutch theologian called Cornelius Jansen and they focused on original sin on moral depravity you know and uh, and, and really focusing that um, uh, for us human beings like we, we we can't cooperate really with the grace of God and it's all about grace all about grace which is which is true you know we, we've been saved by grace through faith but we need to cooperate by that grace but for Jansenism it's like no for us like we're, we're depraved you know and focusing so much on the original sin uh, what happened there was that because of the uh, this heresy of Jansenism people were thinking that we're not worthy to receive Jesus in this in, in in the Eucharist so they're proud that you know oh I'm, I'm not gonna receive Jesus because I'm a sinner so very few were receiving Jesus in in communion and that's that's very prevalent that's why when when you know uh, during the so this was in this the, in the in the 17th century so st. Margaret Mary Alacoque was born in 1647 and she joined this uh, visitation convent uh, uh, in France in 1671. 
and between 1673 and 1676, she received apparition from Jesus. Four, four visions, and uh, she was told by her confessor to write it down. And of course, in, in that vision, Jesus showed to her his sacred heart, blazing, you know, with crowns there, and then it's bleeding. You know, and, 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 and of course, the heart, you know, uh, you know come Valentine's Day, you know, people were showing the heart, the heart, the heart, right? And because the heart is an expression of love. That's why Jesus showed to him, to, to her, his sacred heart. And, and asked her really to have this nine First Friday devotion. I hope we're doing that, okay? The nine First Friday devotion, uh, also a feast for the Sacred Heart to be instituted, and also to spend time with Jesus, preferably before the Blessed Sacrament, Thursday evening, okay? And, uh, and uh, there's like a, a promises for those who would practice the devotion of the nine First Friday. Friday devotion, and I don't have time right now to go, go 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 to Google and search what are the promises of those who would you know have this practice this devotion to the nine first Friday, and uh, and it's a beautiful thing because what grieves Jesus most is not our sin. Yes, it, it grieves him, but what grieves him most is our lack of trust in His love and in His mercy. In uh, in, in Sinu Yesu, okay, which is really uh, a devotion to the Sacred Heart, okay, in Sinu Yesu, in page 202, it says there, Nothing so grieves my divine heart as the doubt of my merciful love. Sin in all its forms and manifestations offends me and grieves my most loving heart. But one who doubts of my merciful love grieves me in a way that you cannot imagine. It is because I am love and all love. It is because my mercy is the expression of my love towards sinners, that my heart suffers when these same sinners close themselves to me by doubting that I am all love and ready to forgive all. That's why here at St. Mary's, I think it's so fitting that today we're going to start doing uh, Eucharistic Adoration after Mass. And I, I hope you stay you know, and, and, and come to the Lord. You know, in, in the Blessed Sacrament, it's His heart, sacred heart, burning. You know, it's His heart, His body aching for souls. It's His, it's his, it's his heart thirsting for souls. That's why we need to spend time with Him. You know, make the most of this. You know, I'm, I'm glad like the government is not shutting us down. We're having this opportunity to adore the Lord before the Blessed Sacrament. His body, soul, divinity there. And it says, saying, Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You would only have that rest if you trust in the love and mercy of Jesus. If you don't trust his love and mercy, you will be full of anxiety. You will be full of fear. You will be full of worries. That's why he's saying, Come, come to me. But how many, how many Catholics do come? No. What do they prefer? They prefer other things than coming before the Lord Jesus. And that aches the heart of Jesus. So let's practice. Like, you know, uh, I, 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 really do, I, I really encourage everyone really to practice um, Coming before the Lord, before the Blessed Sacrament, uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're able, of course, you know, uh, right now with this, with, with, with this pandemic, okay? Christ said to St. Margaret Mary, Behold this heart which has so loved men that it has spared nothing, even to exhausting and consuming itself in order to testify its love. In return, 
I receive from the greater part only in gratitude. By their irreverence and sacrileges, and by the coldness and contempt they have for me in the sacrament of love. I come into the heart I have given you in order that through your fervor you may atone for the offenses which I have received from lukewarm and slothful hearts that dishonor me in the blessed sacrament. What is calling right now? Jesus is calling is people who will be adorers, but also people who would be reparators, who would repair the harm done because of the coldness, the sacrileges, the ingratitude, the irreverence of other people. We are being called to be adorers and reparators before the Blessed Sacrament. For those who couldn't come before the Blessed Sacrament, just face yourselves towards a church where there's a Blessed Sacrament. And you could, you could adore Jesus by doing that. You don't need to be present inside the church. Okay? Uh, so, do that right now. You know, I, I, I really I highly encourage you. And it as the intercession of St. Margaret Mary Alaco. She was called to be the apostle of the sacred heart of Jesus. And she will help you. She will help you grow in your devotion to the sacred heart. Because towards the end, it is the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary that will triumph. In receiving the gift of faith, we are called to be obedient, to be hopeful, and to be ready to welcome Christ at any hour. Let us intercede for others with a sense of faith. That the Pope, bishops, and priests may faithfully serve in the house of the faith with diligence and dedication. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may grow in our devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus, being adorers and reparators for those who who do not have that devotion to his sacred heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick right now, especially those who have COVID. Uh, we pray for healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in the front line, um, uh, doctors, nurses, teachers, priests, and all others. Uh, let us pray to the Lord for protection. That those who have died, we pray for the eternal repose of their soul. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Michelle Barrett, offered by Ben and Maria Lobo. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we do not know the day or hour when your Son will return as judge. Look upon our prayers as signs of faith in His coming. We ask this through Christ our Lord. My death he 
dies that I Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the, commu in the commemoration of the Holy Virgin Margaret Mary Alacoque, we bring you these offerings and prayers. Grant we ask that at, as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful services may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Terence and Marcel our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Margaret Mary Alacoque, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and grace to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. I believe that you are, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord, our God, that by the example of the blessed Mary, Margaret Mary Alacoque, bearing in our body the dead of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I said, to, uh, starting today, uh, we're going to be exposing the blessed sacrament after the 9 o'clock Mass, uh, so it's going to be from Tuesday to Friday, okay? So... Uh, you're, as I've said, you're most welcome to stay and also uh, share the information to others so, so that uh, they would come. Uh, but also I would ask you to, before you leave, if you're going to stay for the Blessed Sacrament Adoration, get a wipe, you know, to, to really wipe your, 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 your pews before uh, leaving, you know, just to make this holy place a safe place for everyone to come. Okay? So... Let, let, let us all grow in our devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus through the intercession of St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And that our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, our God. Jesus, our Savior, Jesus, our Lord, we place our trust in you. We place our trust in you.